Today in this 2003 Ford Explorer Sport Track, we're going to install part number 90885 from Tecancha. To help install our brake controller, we're going to be using the following parts. We're going to be using the ETBC7 kit, and also a bracket part number 18136 from Tow Ready. Now we'll start off installing our bracket to the hitch, because we need this bracket to install the 7 pole bracket that comes with the ETBC7 kit. We'll go ahead and connect the 7 pole bracket to our mounting bracket. And then we'll attach it to the hitch. We'll wrap up our 7 pole adapter wires with electric tape, leaving out the 4 pole. The blue wire, which is our brake wire, and a black wire, which is a 12 volt power supply. We'll continue wrapping up the purple and white wires. The white wire will be our ground wire, and the purple wire is a reverse lead, if it is needed. We'll then take our gray cable and peel back the sheath, and there will be a black and white wire inside. We'll strip back the wires to make our connections. The white wire will connect to the blue wire, and a black wire will connect to the other black wire. We'll cover those up with electric tape. And finally, we'll install the loom along the wires like this. And then we can go ahead and install our wiring harness. For bracket installed, we'll take a moment and remove the factory four pole harness from this bracket, and we'll leave it loose for now. And then we'll go ahead and install our seven pole connector that comes with the ETBC7 kit. With the 7-pole installed, we'll go ahead and take the 4-pole that comes with it and plug it into the factory 4-pole. We'll put some dielectric grease in to protect the terminals, and then we'll go ahead and secure it with a zip tie. We'll also take a white wire with the ring terminal, and we'll attach that to the frame for ground. Then we'll go ahead and run our gray cable up to the front of the vehicle along the frame rail and away from anything moving like the suspension components or anything hot like the exhaust. Go ahead and pull our wire up through the engine compartment and pull it off through the side and make sure we again stay away from anything hot or anything moving like steering components. Next we'll go ahead and loosen up a battery. We're going to remove the battery just for now so we have room to install our circuit breakers. Now we'll install two circuit breakers, a 20 amp circuit breaker for our brake controller. And we'll also install a 40 amp circuit breaker for a 12 volt power supply going out to the connector. We'll cut our wire to length and our excess length will be used to connect the brake controller back up to the battery. We'll peel back the sheath. We'll go ahead and run our black wire and our gray cable through the 40 amp circuit breaker. We'll cut our wire to length. We'll use the ring terminals to connect our wires to the circuit breaker. We'll use two small ones for a circuit breaker and one larger one to attach to the battery. We'll connect to the silver side first. and then our copper side of the circuit breaker will eventually be ran to the battery. We'll then take our white wire, we'll then pull that to the inside. We'll make a cut in the grommet, and then we'll use a piece of tubing to push through, and we'll use it to pull the white wire back through. We'll leave a white wire aside, and then we'll take our excess wire that's still in the gray sheath, black and white wire, and we'll push that through the grommet as well, and back outside. After we run our cable back through to the battery, again we'll go ahead 
and pull the sheath back on the wire harness. Our black wire will go to the 20 amp circuit breaker with the ring terminals. And then we'll go ahead and run out of that towards the positive side of the battery. Our white wire will get another ring terminal and that will go to the ground or the negative post on battery. We'll go ahead and mount up our brake controller to the dash on the inside. We'll install our bracket first. And then we'll hook our wire harness to the back of the brake controller, then attach the brake controller to the bracket, and then start connecting our wires for the brake controller. Now when we connect our wires, we'll make sure that the lone white wire gets connected up to the blue wire as it goes to the brake controller. And the remaining black and white wires will be color matched. Make our connections, then tape up those connections to cover them up and secure them. All right, now our last wire to connect up is a red wire from the brake controller. We'll probe the wires coming out of the brake switch to find out which one is our brake signal. It looks like the light green wire is our brake signal. So we'll take a quick splice connector and connect to that wire. Now I'll take a moment to zip tie our wires up and out of the way and keep them safe. At this point we'll go ahead and reinstall our battery. And hook up all our wires. And now I'll finish it for our install. And there you have it for part number 90885 from Takancha on our 2003 Ford Explorer Sport Track.